I don't think it's that visible. And besides, who's all up on you like that anyway right now? It's still COVID, six feet. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. <laughs> yes, this video is all about this hair. I just did a completely glueless, no spray, no kind of adhesive, no nothing. Just my little wig grip strip and the elastic band that comes in this wig. And that is it. This is a wig from the brand ilikehairwig.com. You have seen them on my channel before. This is the second review I'm doing with them. And I absolutely love how easy this hair was to install. And guess what? It's not a lace front. It is a closure, super easy. And I would say it's pretty affordable for all this hair and the quality that you're getting. So before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload, we do hair, we do makeup, we do nails, we do a little bit of fitness. If you wanna see how I styled this hair, how I was able to achieve this look completely glueless, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with our normal little unboxing, and this is from the brand ilikehairwig.com. They always send a bag full of goodies. They have a rat tail comb in here, which is really nice. And then I always keep these little bags to store stuff in, whether it's makeup or hair stuff. You get a couple clips, which are always good for wig installs. You get tweezers to pluck your baby hairs or your eyebrows, whatever you need to do. And then you also get, this is their baby hair brush, but I feel like I've used these for like eyelashes or something. You get your wig cap. I have so many of these. And then also they send a shower cap, which is really nice if you decide you wanna keep your wig on overnight. So straight out the pack, y'all. I was a little concerned about this wig because I know I need to wash it and condition it, but in the very front, as you can see here, it looks almost matted. And I was not sure what to think about that because I've never seen that before. It did not look like the same pattern in the back of the hair. So kind of made me nervous, but this is the parting space that you have in the front. It is a four by four closure. So it is not completely laced from ear to ear. These knots are also not bleached, but I never do that. There's an elastic band in it. So that's why I was thinking that I should be able to wear it glueless. And then of course it has your standard combs, which I never use those except for the one in the back there. And then I always cut out that extra lace. There's also the piano key adjustable straps in the back. So you can get this pretty tight and I was feeling pretty good about it. So I went ahead and washed it and the curls in the front do look a little better, but this hairline is not pre-plugged. I don't normally look at a hairline and think I need to do something, but this one I did. I'm using my Aussie leave-in conditioner. I actually use this on my hair too, and I think it works really well, but I was decided to use this because I feel like it makes the hair softer, and so I was hoping that it would help with everything as far as tangling. So after I sprayed the hair with that, I decided to use this curl cream from Cantu. And I hadn't used this before. I do think I applied a little bit too much, but I was worried about really wanting to make the curls pop and hoping that it would help with the texture in the front just to keep everything more uniform and have the curl pattern be the same throughout. So I really just wanted to work that in the hair to make sure it was soft. I did get some shedding, but you usually get that with curly units, so I wasn't worried. So I just took my brush and I brushed the curl cream through and I could see that the curls were popping a little bit in the front. So that made me feel a lot better. I decided I was going to pluck the hairline. I normally don't do a lot with that because usually if it's wet and I push it back, it can 
kind of look a little better, but this one was just not, not going to work for me. So that's what I did for plucking. I didn't do too, too much, or at least I thought I didn't, because there still was room to go back and do it a little bit better as far as the transitional density. But look at all this hair. Like, I was literally shocked that that much hair came out. Let's get into the install. All right, so you guys saw me unbox this wig. If you didn't skip through, if you did, I'm gonna give you a quick little blurb here in the beginning because some people don't like to watch unboxings. So this is the ilikehairwig.com perfect hairline five by five closure wig. And it says that is the volume curly. Y'all, first of all, perfect hairline, no. You saw it, the hairline was thick. It was straight across the front. I have never plucked that much hair out of a wig before. Now granted, I don't normally do a lot of plucking, but I really wanted to do a good job with this wig and there was just no way I felt like I could with the hairline looking like that. So I don't know about that part, but it is in 16 inches and this is a very, let me grab her. She's a kinky curly. When it came out the box and I showed y'all the texture, I was like, why does that look like that? Like if it's curly, that's one thing, but that literally looked nappy. So I have washed her, I have conditioned her. I put some products in it to try to kind of tame the curls a little bit. So this is what it is looking like. This is gonna be some big hair. It's still a little wet, but I'm all right with that. I am gonna put a stocking cap on for this one because it says you can wear it glueless. So we're gonna try to do that. And I'm putting a stocking cap on because it's still wet. I'm gonna try to wear it glueless, but being that it is a closure with the five by five parting space, I don't know how that works. I don't normally, if I'm buying a wig, closures are not normally my first go-to, so yeah we will see but right now i'm just gonna get my hair i may put my wig grip on too because i feel like if i'm trying to wear something glueless that's usually the best way for me to do it so let me just try to keep everything the same i'm gonna cut the lace out of the back on it, of it but i'm not going to cut i don't know i go back and forth between cutting the lace off the front on my head and then cutting it off beforehand. I like to cut it off beforehand and then just trim as needed once it's on my head, but I feel like sometimes I do a little better when it's on my head and then I cut it off. So I'm gonna put it on right now just for you guys to see what it looks like since I've styled it. Right now this wig is in stock and it is showing that it is right side of your head. It is $219. So, I mean, I think that's a good price considering it's human hair and the volume that you get with this. And then it also comes with, like you saw, with the elastic band in the back, which is supposed to be what helps to make this glueless. Let me put some powder. Well, I'll do that after. So let's just see what she looks like. right out the gate so yeah you can see that the hairline looks a lot better i probably could have went in some more a little further back but i don't know if i want to wear a part with this i kind of like how this looks i don't know if i want to part it because with it being a five by five i do have some room to part it let's see Girl, you know you want to part that. I don't want to do like a dedicated part though. I think I just kind of want to do like a flip over kind of part like this and just have big hair. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take it back off. I'm going to put some powder on the lace a little bit. And then I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to speed through it, but I'm going to show you guys how I apply it. But yeah, I mean, I think I could wear this glueless. Let me get the lace tinted with some powder and see how it looks and then we'll decide if we need to glue it.
All right, so this is what it is looking like glueless. I do feel like I need a darker powder on the hairline because my bronzer is pretty heavy today. And so that is why you are seeing my normal foundation shade isn't working, but adding a little bit of darker powder right here, just like that. And that is blending in a lot better. So it doesn't have too much of a cast. I could cut off a little more of the lace right here, but I don't wanna cut off too much. So if I did not wanna part this, and I did not or not want to glue this down and I just wanted to walk straight out the door like this, I feel like I could get away with it. Now, here's my issue with wigs like this. I feel like the texture, and it's me because I don't normally do big hair like this. This is, this is a lot for me. <laughs> I would love to be able to just Let me see. I mean, even just wearing it like straight back off my face like that. I don't do baby hairs. Where's my comb? But I am kind of tempted to try them today. This did actually come with baby hairs in the front. I don't know if I've tweezed them all out. Here, you can see a little tiny bit right there. But can we get away with it? I just have no idea what I'm doing with them is the problem. Let's try it. YOLO, right? So where do I want to put them? So we're going to try a little bit right here. And I see people use a lot of different stuff. I'm going to do mousse just because I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. So I don't want to have it stuck to my head if it looks like crap. So let's see. Probably should cut this a little bit more. Do I want it that far in front? I don't think I do. All right, uh, I think we got us some little baby hairs. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> that's not bad. I feel like that's the first time ever really trying to do them that didn't look crazy. So we're just gonna go with it. I wanna wet the hair a little more. I really wish I could get it to look a little more wavy and it might just be the products that I chose to use because I used a curling cream and I feel like it was a little heavy for this hair. So that's probably just on me, but I have not glued this wig down. So I'm gonna get close for you guys to see. You can see the lace a little tiny bit, but from far away, I don't think it's that visible. And besides, who's all up on you like that anyway right now? It's still COVID, six feet. So yes, this is the wig i'm kind of feeling this i did a v part was it a v part i feel v part wig yes a v part wig that kind of had the same texture and everybody gave me so many compliments and this is kind of giving me those vibes again i might go ahead uh, i don't know if i want to part it or not i might part it i don't know but for right now this is what the hair looks like i'm gonna go ahead and turn so you guys can see all of it and you know 16 inches is going to look a little different when it's curly. It's going to be a little shorter, but this is some big hair. This is some big hair. So if you like big hair, this is it. But I can't believe I really did not think I was going to be able to wear this glueless. This was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And I feel like sometimes you can kind of get away with it. Like if I were to swoop some little baby hairs right here to cover this, then I could kind of wear it up a little bit, just play with it. But I am perfectly fine leaving it like this, being a little sassy. If my hair could be big curly like this, I would figure out how to make it look good versus occasionally just doing it with a wig. But I'm loving how this looks. So y'all let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think about this hair? This is definitely more of like a kinky curly kind of Afro curly texture but it's gorgeous love this hair love the movement that it has it doesn't feel stiff i know when it dries it is probably going to be not it's not going to have as much movement but it's not going to be hard 
and that's the thing that I love. So I'm going to close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment. Let me know what you think about this hair. Would you rock it? You think it looks good? Need to stick to my straighter styles? Let me know what y'all think. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.